Hey y'all, so uh, it's been a minute since I've made a video. Uh, I didn't make one last week because we had a bit of a little snowstorm and the power went out. So we were trying to uh, figure things out as far as having no power. Um, I did get my workout in because um, the power was actually off for more than like 24 hours. So we ended up getting... a uh, a hotel um, and they had a really nice little gym so I used their treadmill at the gym so I did get my workout in last week and it um, the miles it was six miles um, one of them was a magic mile the magic mile if you remember is um, it's just a basically a quick like mile all out do it as fast as you can do it um, and it's good for increasing speed. So that was last week. So this week, I've got a 20-mile run to do. Um, in a marathon training plan, you're going to have some weeks with short runs, some weeks with long runs. And this week is a long run. So I thought that I would focus this video on how I'm going to stay hydrated on this long run that's tomorrow. Uh, I may be too tired to make a follow-up video, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to make this right now. Okay, so I've had this hydration pack for years. Uh, it has to be well over, well over five years, I would say. Um, I like to use these because you just, you can fill this up with water. Um, really easy to do, and you just strap it to your back. Um, you know, and, and you take off and you go for your run and you can just, you know, you can see I've had this thing for years. I need another one, but this one kind of, it stuck with me. Um, you know, it's easy. You can just hydrate. You, you can keep running. You can walk if you want. Sometimes I, I'll do a, like a little walk break, 30 seconds, get my water in. But there's like a little pocket on here too. So if you like to keep hydration um, and, or like little energy gels, you can do that. And I tend to, I do really well with the, the Gatorade GU energy gels. Um, plus, you know, they give a ton of them out, you know, during races and at the events before races. So I've gotten really used to, to the Gatorade GU one. So I usually, you know, I, I can stuff a, a gel pack in there. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much goo. It's just, it's like, it tastes like, you know, a glob of sugar, to be honest. And it's very, you know, very gooey. It is basically, it really tastes like a, a glob of sugar. It's got a lot of carbs in it. It's got sodium in there. It's got potassium. You know, you just get a quick boost of, you know, all of your electrolytes. This one even has like some amino acids in here. This is like the first time I've had one. Um, that's thrown in some amino acids and some of them have a little bit of caffeine too, which is, you know, pretty usual for, um, um, energy, um, stuff for running or workouts. If you did not know that, um, also I'm going to be, this is water in here right now, but I'm going to be adding, um, Gatorade to it again, like Gatorade works really well for me. So I'm going to be adding Gatorade to it and, um, Actually, I even have a, a gnarly pack here because this Gatorade is kind of small. It's a 20 ounce. So, and I'm going to put about probably 36 ounces of water in here tomorrow for the 20 mile run. So I'm going to, I'm going to try this too. I don't know where I got this sample from, but I'm going to pour this into about 16 ounces of water and that'll get me up to uh, where I need to be fluid. Uh, wise tomorrow I sweat a lot and um, lose a lot of um, sodium so I think this is going to be a co good combo for me tomorrow everybody's different um, when you're doing long runs um, the best thing to do is really to play around with different type of um, energy fluids and um, gels and tablets all the stuff that they have out there again I've been using Gatorade pretty much all of my life it works well for me so I generally stick to that um let's see generally how much fluid 
much do I need? That's a big question people ask. I would say um, all of the, the, the research, the literature, I'll say American College of Sports Medicine, because, you know, those are the folks that, you know, I, I was always taught to go by. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much my governing body, too. Um, about eight, depending on like your, if you're a big sweater, you, you could go up to 16 ounces, but eight to 16 ounces per hour. Um, so, you know, some po folks can get away with like eight ounces of fluids an hour. Some folks have to bump up to 16. It really depends on how much you sweat. Um, you really don't need to do fluids while you're working out unless your workout is longer than like 45 minutes or an hour but of course this one's going to be super long for me i'm going to be running for over four hours to be honest so i need i need lots of fluids um so if you have any questions about hydration when you're doing really long workouts you know feel free to drop those questions in the comments below i would be happy to help share what I know, tell you what's worked for best for me, what hasn't worked best for me. And if you have some tips for me, you know, share them with me as well. I love to learn something new every day. So until next time, or maybe even tomorrow after my run, if I'm not too tired, I'll give you an update.